Hi, my name is Bokhod Rahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about one of the important concepts of linear algebra, which is called the linear combination. Uh, so before we are going to talk about the linear combinations of vectors, I would like to talk about with you about the two operations with the vectors, which we can do is one is multiplication of a vector to the constant. And it, it basically what it does, it, it's going to scale the vector. So if you are given a vector u, uh, by just multiplying this u to some constant k, I'm just going to change the length of this vector. And I can't really change the direction of the vector by just multiplying this to some constant. So in this case, if a k is, uh, is bigger than 1, then this red vector is going to be longer than the blue one. And if the k is smaller than 1, then the red vector is going to be shorter than, than the u. So essentially, just multiplying a vector to the constant, we are going to just change the lengths of this vector. So let's look to this operation on the coordinate system in order to see this more in more details with more techniques. So let's say I've got a rectangular coordinate system, and I would like to draw a vector on, on this rectangular coordinate system. So let's say I've got a vector with the components 3 and 3. So if I just multiply this vector to the, to, to the constant, for example, to the t, so it's going to be a vector with the components 6 and 6. So this is going to be the same vector in the same direction, but twice longer than the original vector. And if I just multiply this blue vector to the 2 over 3, then this vector, the resulting vector, is going to be shorter, but the direction is going to be the same. So again, a multiplication of a vector to the constant is going to simply change the length of that vector, but it doesn't change the direction. So we say that the linear combination of a vector is basically the multiplication of a vector, of the vector, to the constant. So by just multiplying this vector to the constant, you can just change the length of this vector. And the linear combination of this vector is going to give you the points on this line. Okay, so we usually define a line as a linear combination of one vector. So now let's discuss what does it mean, the linear combination of two vectors. So in order to do this, we first of all need to, uh, need to introduce the another operations with the vectors, which is the addition of the vectors. So if you're given again two vectors on the xy plane, so we're talking about again the position vectors, right? So which are going to start from the origin. So let's say we're given two vectors. So if I would like to add these two vectors, for example, uh, I, I would put the second vector, for example, the red vector, to the end of the first vector, to the blue vector, and then connect the starting point and the ending point of those vectors. So basically, let me just put the red vector to the ending point of the blue vector. Then by just connecting the starting point of the blue vector and the ending point of the red vector, we can just find the addition of these two vectors. So this is how we are going to add the two vectors. So now let's define what does it mean, the linear combination of the two vectors. So if you are given a vector u, the linear combination of this vector is just a multiplication of the a to the u. And the linear combination of this vector v is another constant b times the this v. And whatever we are going to say about the linear combination of the two vectors u and v, it means that I'm going to combine the u with a constant, I'm going to combine the v with a, con with a constant, and then I'm going to add them. So this is going to be a linear combination of these two vectors. So well, if you remember, by just multiplying a vector u to some constant, I couldn't change the angle, the direction of that vector, right? So I couldn't change the direction of the v neither by just multiplying this to some constant. But if I just multiply a vectors u and v to a different constant and add them, it appears I can change the direction and the length of this resulting y vector. 
For example, if I just increase the length of this u vector by just increasing the a, right? So if I take it a little bit longer, now the addition of the a u to the b v is going to be another vector with a different length and a different direction. So this is again is called as a linear combination of the two vectors. So let's define what is a linear combination of. Uh, okay, so one of the really good examples of, of defining the linear combination of the vectors would be the standard unit vectors on the coordinate systems. For example, in the 2D coordinate system, the standard unit vectors are going to be the i vector, which is this blue vector with the components 1 and 0, and the j vector, which is going to be here, the red vector with the components 0 and 1. And the linear combination of these two vectors can define any point on this rectangular coordinate system. So for example, if you're given this point with the coordinates 3 and 2, right, because you need to go 3 units in the x direction and 2 units in the y direction, you can get this point by just combining this blue vector and red vector linearly. So in order to do this, I'm going to basically increase the length of the blue vector three times, increase the, the length of the red vector two times, so it is going to be 3i, and the red one is going to be 2j, and the addition of these two vectors, 3i and 2j, is going to point a vector, uh, so it's going to create a vector which is pointing to this point. Right. If you remember, we are going to define the vectors using the combination of the i and j, right? So, uh, so here is again, the, so this this white vector is a linear combination of the blue vector and the red vector. I'm multiplying this i to the 3, j to the 2, and by adding them, I can get this point. And actually, just using this concept, we can get any point on this rectangular coordinate system. So I can just increase or decrease the length of this blue vector. We can change the length of the red vector. And the addition of these two vectors, their, their scaled versions, is going to give us any point on this rectangular coordinate system. So, so, so that is why sometimes we call this vectors i and j as the basis of the rectangular coordinate system, since their linear combinations are going to give us any point on the rectangular coordinate system. So let's make a definition of the linear combinations in general. So a linear combination of, of n uh, m vectors, v1, v2, and so on, vm is a vector which is obtained by just multiplying this vector to the constants a1 is going to be multiplied to the v1, a2 times to the v2, a m times to the vm, and their addition. Where, where a1, a2, and so on, a m are going to be just the constants, uh, real numbers, and a v1, v2, and so on, vm are the n-dimensional vectors. So this is the definition, the mathematical definition of a linear combination of the vectors. So previously we see, we, we've seen that, hey, the linear combination of one vector, kv, can define all the points along the line. While the linear combinations of the two vectors, which are non-parallel vectors, we call them also as independent vectors, are going to define the planes. So in order to define the any plane, we need two vectors. And by combining them linearly, we can reach any point on this plane. So in general, for example, if you're given three vectors, independent vectors, you can define the 3D space. So one of the examples of this three vectors would be i, j, and k vectors. So let's say we are given 3D space, and we are given the standard unit vectors on the space, which are i, j, and k. And by just combining the three vectors, we can get any point on the space. So let's assume that we are given this point with the coordinates 0, 2, and 3. 
And they are going to be just the coefficients of our linear combinations, actually. So by multiplying the i to the 0, j to the 2, and k to the 3, and adding the three vectors geometrically, we can get a vector which is going to point to which is going to point to this point. So let's do this. So I'm going to multiply the i to the 0, j to the 2, and k to the 3. And by just adding the three vectors, we are going to obtain exactly this vector. So this vector is going to be as 0 times the zi, sorry, so it should be i here, plus 2 times to the j, plus 3 times to the k. So again, by combining linearly the three vectors i, j, and k, we can obtain any point on the 3D space. So this is the linear combination, the concept of the linear combination. And I hope you understood what does it mean and why we would need the linear combinations of the factors in linear algebra.